Hi, everyone. I'm back. After a long time, I'm back. I was busy with some poultry related research projects. And that's why I didn't have time to, you know, create YouTube videos for you. But I have received so many comments, nice comments from my subscribers that they would like me to, you know, create new videos. So today I'm going to talk about enzymes, using enzymes in poultry nutrition. So when we are using enzymes, we need to pay attention to the to a concept called matrix value. And over the next couple of uh, presentations, I'm going to touch on that a little bit. So let's get started. Using enzyme matrix, matrix values in poultry diet formulation. So if you are using commercial enzyme in poultry diets, you might see some values, you know, some numbers called the matrix value on the enzyme label. So today we're going to see what they mean, how can we use them in diet formulation. I remember I talked about using multi-enzyme and the different types of enzyme in super pre-starter diet in one of my videos, and I'll try to post the link up here. So as you know, we can use, you know, different enzymes in diet like amylase, protease, lipase, arabinozylinase, beta-gluconase, and these enzymes at the end of the day are going to facilitate the digestion of nutrients and also they are going to, you know, battle with some anti-nutritional factors. So let's pay attention to matrix value. So these numbers that you can see here, for example, for metabolizable energy, for each kilogram of the enzyme, it provides around 429,000 kilocalorie per kilogram energy. What does it mean? It means that if you feed one kilogram of this enzyme, it's going to liberate this amount of energy from your diet. Or let's say crude protein is 2,200 percentage. What does it mean? It means that if you are using one kilogram of this enzyme, it's going to liberate this much uh, crude protein from your diet. Or we have you know, similar story for phosphorus, lysine, methionine, methionine plus cysteine, theronine. So actually for each enzyme, we have a recommended inclusion rate in the diet. Usually it varies from 50 gram per ton all the way to 500 grams per ton. And you need to pay attention to the label of the enzyme and see how much you need to use it in the diet. So this example that I am showing you here, for this enzyme, they recommended to use it at 350 grams per ton, or we can say 0.035 percentage of the diet. So, what is matrix value? As I said, matrix value indicates the amount of a nutrient that could be released when the enzyme is added to a diet. So how should we use these values? So over here, you can see, for example, uh, I mean, we have to do a little bit math, a little bit calculation. So actually, 
the main goal of matrix value is to calculate the provided nutrients or released nutrients as a result of using the enzyme. For example, if the matrix value for metabolizable energy is 429,000 kilocalorie per kilogram, you need to multiply this amount by the inclusion rate of the enzyme based on percent. So it means that uh, the matrix value times 0.035%. This is the inclusion rate of this enzyme. It equals to 150.15 kilocalorie per kilogram. What does it mean? It means that if I add this enzyme in my diet at a 0.035% or let's say 350 grams per ton, it's gonna release 150 kilocalorie per kilogram energy in my diet. Or looking at crude protein, again, we can do the same calculation, matrix value 2200 times the inclusion rate of the enzyme, which is equal to 0.77%. It means that if you use this enzyme in the diet, it's going to liberate 0.77% of protein from your diet. And it's the same story for other nutrients that you can see here. So how should you recalculate the nutrient requirements when adding enzyme in a diet? So <clears throat> we saw how we are going to calculate provided amount or released amount of the nutrients as a result of using enzyme, right? Now, here is the most important part. For example, for a grower diet in broilers, here you can see the nutrient requirements. A broiler chick during the grow, grower diet, grower phase, uh, requires uh, 3,100 kilocalorie per kilogram energy, 21.5% protein, 0.435% phosphorus, 1.29% lysine, and so on. It means that your diet needs to provide these amounts of nutrients in the diet but you are going to use an enzyme, right? So it means that your enzyme is going to provide this amount of nutrients, 150 kilocalorie per kilogram energy, 0.77% protein, and so on. It means that when you are calculating uh, the diet, when you are going to you know, uh, formulate your diet, you need to decrease the nutrient requirements level. Instead of formulating your diet to provide 3,100 kilocalorie per kilogram energy, you need to, you know, take away 150 kilocalorie from that amount, and you need to just provide 2,949 kilocalorie per kilogram energy. Or instead of having your diet uh, to provide 21.5% 21 protein, you're going to have your diet uh, provide just 20.7% crude protein. Or let's say uh, for thronin, for thronin, instead of uh, having 0.88% thronin in your diet, you just need to have 0.83% thronin in your diet because you are adding an enzyme and this enzyme is going to uh, provide some extra nutrients in your diet.
So in my next video, which is related to this video and is really important, I'm going to talk about uh, the maximum price that you need to pay for an enzyme based on the uh, matrix value. And I'll talk about that in the next video. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I'll see you over in the next episode. Have fun.